Dear Emma, I wanted to share some thoughts with you that have been on my heart since long before you passed away. Back here on Earth, we're taught from a young age that outer beauty, intellectual ability, physical aptitude, and the size and number of our worldly accomplishments are the most important blessings and measures of a successful life. We're led to believe that our value as people is derived from what we do and how well we do it, not from who we are or the God who created us and loves us. But your life was a stark and important reminder that none of these things are really true. You reminded me of the simple but easily and often overlooked truth that God loves all of us unconditionally and that he never qualifies his love based on whether or not we meet the world's definition of whole or healthy. How do I know this? Well, for starters, the Bible tells me so. But I also know this because I loved you just as much as any of our family members, even if I didn't get to know you the same way. And because I know that any love I have comes from God, I therefore also know that he loves you too. Way more than I ever could, in fact. You are a Miles, so I trust you appreciate the logical integrity of this argument. And you may not have known it, Emma, but you're quite a decorated evangelist, too. In the five short years you were here on this earth, I truly and honestly believe that through you, God accomplished more for his kingdom and spread the good news of his unconditional love for us further than he's able to through many of us able-bodied and rebellious adults. You strengthened a family and a community. And in doing so, you taught others about how God can work good through any situation. You softened hearts, including mine and many others, I'm sure. And you increased the compassion of those around you. You left a legacy of caring and love in people's hearts that will be passed on for generations to come. A legacy is such a cool gift. So thank you, Emma. You rock. Thanks for changing my life for the better and leaving our family with beautiful memories that no one will ever be able to take away from us. In some ways, I'll admit, I feel sorry that you didn't get to experience all of the beauty that a life on earth has to offer. But at the same time, I'm also so happy for you. That you got an express ticket to heaven where I'm pretty sure the beauty far exceeds what we have on earth. By God's grace, perhaps I'll see you there soon. Put in a good word for me.